The key to all leadership is establishing trust. And we thrive to do that. You know, we go around like asking people, how are the kids, how's the wife, how's the life? Good morning, how are you? In a pretense to establish trust, small talk, as we call it. Like we all know that we, most of us anyway, that we don't speak from the present time. We speak with our history. We show up in our minds with our past and our histories. We had our made up stories of what's happening now because we can't see. What we see is an interpretation of what we have lived. Being a conscious leader makes a whole difference in the awareness that you bring to the conversation because you're not trying to manipulate the person by asking them how are the kids or how's the wife or by making small talk. The human being sees that as a manipulation and they react to it. It takes them actually away from here. It takes them to where their kids are, where their wife is, or how life has been for them. What did they do this weekend? The conscious leader is very aware that everything, including trust, happens right here. And the simple example of that or a simple explanation of that is that trust happens here because if you take someone away from being here, you're not accepting him or her as they are right now. There's a lack of trust. There's a judgment that comes with who you are and what you've done or who you've been. To establish trust, the best way I found is to bring people right here. One of the things I've used in the past is called mood check. And I was coaching one of my dear friends. She's the CEO of a large company. And I was asking her before every meeting, ask them a mood. Now she was dubious and she was scared. She had never done anything like that before. It's easier, she said, to ask how the kids are. I said, yes, but what happens is you're taking them away from the present moment. Asking them their mood brings everybody right here in this moment. To her surprise, it worked. And I asked her what was the result of the meeting. She said, I've never had a meeting with so much trust and openness. It's because everybody was here. And asking them the mood, and I want to make sure that I emphasize that good is not a mood, that that's just an escape. And that the important thing about asking for a mood as a leader is that you don't go down in the hole. Every mood is accepted. Every mood is okay. Not to go looking for the reason why they are in this mood. If they want to give it, that's okay. But if they don't, it's okay as well. The important thing is that they're here and you accept them with their mood, bad, good. And then you are aware of your reactions and your words in different types of moods. And as soon as you do that, you bring everybody in the meeting, in your presence to the present moment and you accept them as they are. And the key to building trust is acceptance. And that's the role of a conscious leader.